Apologies for the break in transmission. We're trying to deal with the ever-present power challenges. But Ruben, you're telling us about the versatility of the man in David Wako. Playing all positions from the front row to the second row. And where he has been preferred today at eighth man. What a skilled man. And perhaps this is the position where he is best known for. I should remind you that he plays sevens as well. <laughs> Yeah, very, very reliable um, customer for the hippos there. Uh, dependable, and it's great to see him back on his feet. As, uh, interestingly, the hippos fans are really, really bringing out the equipment to make sure that it seems like a home ground for them. <laughs> <laughs> it surely is a home ground <laughs> situation here as they bring in as many vuvuzelas to pop up the noise. Black Pirates, the fans... Ha are in more of a picnic style outing today as most of the rugby fans have made their way to Chadondo for the top of the table clash and that noise from the visiting fans is giving the players some oof as they get another shot at goal after winning that penalty and Taufik Bagalana is pointing to the uprights Ginger Hippos will be going for points. <laughs> How do you respond to this? When you're at your own home ground, easy, looking, you know, to unwind from the tough week and chilling, and then the opposing fans have come in full force as loud as possible. How do you respond from this? It's a challenge to the Pirates fans. I'm eager to see what they are going to do. The fact that they are down is a position they're not used to, so they are still shell-shocked. But now they need to find it in them to ideally respond to this onslaught by the Hippos. Manuel Odoi has missed the last two kicks for points. This one is straight in front of the uprights. Can he extend the lead? No, he won't. It will stay at seven points. The Pirates leave it to bounce. So they will be having a 22-meter drop. Hippos have enjoyed the territory today, and Isaac Massa is looking to pump some gas into. Looking to pump some gas into the Black Pirates as Ivan Magomo finds Isaac Rujumba running straight into the forwards, caught by Frank Chidega. Mapesa to James Okello who loses that ball in contact or rather Yusuf Waiswa wearing the number 16 jersey Moses Olupot to feed. It goes straight to Sydney Gongodio. This time, Rujumba is slow to get off that breakdown. And I've and Gongodio is brought down by Owen Mogogo. The Black Pirates have now found some space on the outside. It's in Eric Mula Mula's hands. He finds the speedster. And all that to Kunda. Breaking tackles and cutting through. Under the upright, Satukunda dives. And Black Pirates... The players have found the energy that they needed to strike through. The fans have found the voice that they needed to silence the ginger hippos here today. Look at them. Finally, they can stand on their feet and cheer on. As Ivan Magomu waits to convert, this will be the leveling score. But what a carry from Eric Mula Mula to break that space. And then that skip pass to find Arnold Atukunda. Try time for the Pirates. Yeah, definitely. And that is the spark that the, the backline of the Pirates can bring to the table when they are in sync. And that pass out wide to Anulatukunda. I mean, that's why the man is called Kaboda Boda. 
And there you could see beating all the men that were trying to catch up with him and scoring crucially in the center, giving Ivan Magom the easy kick. And there you can see just from the run, Eric Mula Mula with a long pass. For perhaps I had thought that he had missed it, but he was looking for the fastest man amongst the options. And Arnold Atukunda racing importantly to the center post so that he can give Ivan Magom the crucial kick that he has converted. Ladies and gentlemen, we are level now. It's game on, it's game on. And you could see the smile on Atukunda's face as he raced through knowing that it was inevitable that he scored. But the Black Pirates need to make this leveling score count. It's back to square one. Ronald Tosima is taken in the air. But that's some power from Ivan Kabagambe to keep him up and bring him back to the ground safely. Moses Ziwa presenting the ball for Olupota. Now the Black Pirates can play. Ivan Magomo on that cross kick. Covered by Edwin Lameriga. Fahad Maido for the carry. David Wako. Continuing to the outside edge. Isaac Rujumba looking for that tip on pass. Doesn't find it. It's in the hands of Humphrey Tashobia. Turn of a ball from the Pirates. And there's a man who appeared to be, have been coming from offside. Pirates have the advantage. And now the penalty. Moses Olopot has been taken on the floor by an offside player. Ivan Magomi is appealing for sanctions, further sanctions. Not sure Umar Balikanda will be handing any more to them. And there's Isaac Massa, his co-captain, also making his case known. Ginger Hippos need to recover as quickly as they can from this shock of the conceded points. That penalty was a bit unnecessary. And you can see Isaac Massa still trying to earn a few extra meters for that penalty. The yellow card was not going to be given. Perhaps an extra meter would have aided Ivan Magomu in gaining more territory for the Black Paris in this phase of play. But this is exactly what the Pirates need, uh, to be able to unsettle um, Hippos, forcing them into making some of these unnecessary mistakes. Um, and there they have some really, really good territory that um, they can start a proper attack from with uh, Nathan Guambale, ball in hand, ready to throw. But it's just those small, small decisions sometimes that make the difference for the team. As we are seeing there, Moses Olupot digging in to move the ball out wide to the box again he goes Isaac Massa dancing and hoping and then that switch to Solomon Banawa but he's unable to gather the Pirates had advantage for offside is Ivan Magomu looking for that quick restart too little too late he'll be going to the corner for Nathan Bambale who has returned to the playing field to get that line out and driving ball you can see his show of intent to the coach saying let's this is the option that we need to take strike when the iron's still hot the ginger hippos have been rattled the black pirates have their sails up perhaps they can score some points on the board Goes to the back of the line out to run out to see and then inside to Frank Chidega. This will be try time. Yes, it is. What a set piece move. Frank Chidega. Pirates have struck again coming from behind. They now lead by 15 points to 10. And you can see Frank Chidega saying, Yes, this is it. What a try! What a what a try there! And you can see the, the Pirates fans really, but they have Frank Chidega reading the move. That is clearly a training ground move, but executed to perfection. And the Pirates fans are on their feet, 
catching their breath because that was even us here we were in pure amazement brilliant, brilliant uh, throw there by uh, by Nathan Guambale gathered by Ronald to see me and then just the tip off to a marauding a marauding Frankie Dega no one saw that coming brilliant brilliant this is the kind of rugby we really came to watch I'm so so happy and so impressed to see that in Ugandan rugby Ivan Magomo misses the uprights but the Black Pirates have been known to execute some single phase play moves in that zone. We saw against Impi that tap and go. This time it's the line out. They've trained these moves and with a line out, with, with Marvin Odong, a line out specialist as head coach, these are the certain type of moves that you'd expect to see from such a team. They can see what it means for the forwards. That's a move they have practiced all day and every day. They now lead by 15 points to 10. And the Ginger Hippos fans are now looking to get their team back on in it as we see a change at the front row. Amako Hillary on for Fahad Maido. Frank Chidega, the try scorer, did not communicate well with his hooker. Nathan Bwambale, the hippos have advantage for the knock on. Usually we say, uh, Ruben, that teams are most vulnerable after scoring. The Black Pirates scored, they had their tails up, they scored again, and then somehow they switched off. Frank Chidega there should have communicated well. With Nathan Bwambale, the ball had just flown past Bwambale and Chidega had that energy, that a bit of pace attacking the ball moving forward. Perhaps he was the best man for the ball. Yeah, perhaps it's uh, usually a case of uh, being a little overly excited um, and letting the excitement get to your head that makes makes you lose a bit of focus as we're seeing uh, Nathan Bwambale there. Perhaps it's uh, getting... Yeah, it's going to be a blood sub. Maybe he just time off for him to get uh, his face cleaned. He's having a little bit of bleeding there. But uh, credit to the medical uh, Uganda Medical Society for their efforts in making sure that player welfare is paramount. That's, that's Uganda Men Sevens team doctor Gloria Nalwoga. Nathan Bambali will need some dressing. He just came back on about 10 minutes ago. And back into it he goes for that scrum feed. Mapesa and Olupot exchanging some pleasantries. David Wako caught by Moses Ziwai behind the gain line. Isaac Rujumba on that loop. Carrying it straight into the midfield. And then Julia Sopio. Skip pass. It's lost on the floor. Referee says play on. It has popped up on the side of the Black Pirates. Humphrey Tashovia with ball in hand. And the pick from Ronald to see him a Paul Bagota has broken a tackle and has gone through but referee says we shall return to that phase of play there's some consultation there with his AR Black Pirates not pleased with what has happened in that phase of contact I think it must be something with what was affected at that turnover yeah, a bit of confusion there that uh, the referee needs to really get a hold of. And as you can see, Captain co-captain Isaac Massa um, with his fellow Ivan Magomo, they are trying to really understand why that play was stopped. And uh, because being a captain, you have to be a little bit of a politician and perhaps uh, also diplomatic in your ways. Uh, but you can see it is advantage to the hippos. Um, uh, maybe the, the Pirates will feel a bit hard done by that. Uh, Paul Bagota had gotten a chance to maybe go and score a try, but uh, the responsibility has been reversed now, and it is attack to the hippos. Pirates have too many captains. 
And we'll remember that Ivan Magomo has been sent to the bin three times this season. And one of the reasons has been his communication with the referees. This time it's his co-captain, a man who approaches the referees with more of a smile, Isaac Massa. But still you can see that Ivan Magomo still gets there to make his case known. Ginger Hippos on the other side have been also exchanging captains, changing captains as frequently. Today it's Isaac Rujumba. The other day it was Taufik Bagalana. David Wako he is the club captain. So both teams not short of leadership. This time in action it's Isaac Rujumba carrying behind the game line. Mapesa going back to the blind side. David Wako about a meter short of the try line. And now the backs, Taufik Bagalana straight into Eric Mula Mula. Mapesa caught behind the goal line. It's advantage. Ivan Magomo floods to a fan, the China runner to see me, who puts it to the boot and it bounces past the halfway line. Jackson Opio. And now Taufik Bagalana again. The pass bounces on the floor in front of Edmond Charisma. And there's need for some medical attention there. As we gain close, as we get close to the halfway mark. Black Pirates leading by 15 points to 10. There's Isaac Massa with the man on form this season for the Black Pirates, Sydney Gongodio. Scoring tries for fun. And then Eric Mula Mula with the young backfield of Arnold Atukunda and Solomon Banawa. Solomon Banawa scored two tries last weekend as Pirates ran in a six-try bonus point victory against the Impis. Jacob, give me something. Jacob, give me something. You're out of focus. You're out of focus. I'm changing the channel. So, can you get any Jacob? Play is going to be restarted with a scrum feed to the hippos after that stoppage due to a need for medical attention to one of the hippos players. Mapesa will be picking from the back of that scrum straight to Taufik Bagalana run looking for that number 10. He's brought down by Eric Mula Mula and then now back to the forwards on the blind side. Frank Chidega with the tackle. Sean Mubiru. And then now Edmond Charisma forced backwards. And the turnover has been won by Nathan Bambale. Fast on the ball. 
and there was no man strong enough to force Wambale off that ball. Black Pirates consulting each other. Should we take the halftime? Should we play on? They decide to play on. Maybe one more strike move to extend their lead into the break. Uh, I'm sure there's still a bit of PTSD from the Hippos from that previous line out. Um, a masterpiece, I should say. They will be wary of this one as well. A bit more cautious, and I'm sure it is going to be one that the Pirates would want to send out to the Bucks, perhaps to stretch them a little bit. But great, great rugby in this first half. We have seen a lot of everything, both sides having their best and, and a bit of lackluster moments. But uh, somehow the Pirates in the charge. Eric Muller carrying straight into contact. He finds Owen Mugogo. And now the forward shuffling on the blinds on the open side rather. Ivan Kabagambe getting to work. It goes back to the open side. Magomu. Paul Bagota. The space on the outside. Into the 22. Ivan Magomu picking quickly. Nathan Bambale. The try line is in front of him. But there's men stopping him. Going over it. Quick ball. Kabagambe. And then more quick ball. Ivan Magomu finds Eric Onchiri. Isaac Massa. Long pass away to Nolda Tukunda. This is the dry time. Yes, it is. Wow. <laughs> we run out of superlatives to describe the rugby that is being played here today. And Nolda Tukunda with his brace has just given us another piece of action. You could call Arnold Atukuna the flying Muchiga. There. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. For a moment, I thought that uh, the opportunity had been butchered, um, but that's the experience that Isaac Massa brings to the fore. Being able to, in the tight moments, throw that long pass to exact dexterity. Just look at how it comes out. All right. And then Ivan Kawagambe sucking in a couple of players there, setting up well. And Moses Olupot moving it wide quickly. Ivan Magomo finding Isaac Massa, finding Eric Mula Mula, and then Isaac Massa. That's what Sevens Rugby does for you, the international Sevens player. Out to the flying Muchiga, who scores yet another try. Brilliant, brilliant stuff by the Pirates to send us into halftime. Black Pirates lead by 20 points to 10. That conversion missed by Ivan Magomo. There you see the, the two men, Ivan Magomo and Taufik Bagalana, they have played all the 13 games this season, only getting a break to serve their sin bin punishments. And their two teams, Pirates and Hippos, have served some beautiful rugby in this first half. Hippos striking first through Edwin Lemeriga, and then that penalty from Emmanuel Odoi. But the Black Pirates have clawed back into it. Ivan Magomo striking that penalty, and then the three beautiful tries a brace by Arnold Atukunda and that set piece move by Frank Chidega wow what a match what beautiful 40 minutes going into the break 20 points to 10 you don't want to go away for the next 40